How do you calculate selling price of a product when you have the cost and the target margin, but you also want to consider discount and rebate percentage? In my previous video, I shared what is the difference between markup and margin and how you can calculate selling price when you have cost and target margin. If you want to understand those concepts better, I will leave a link in the description box below. Make sure you click it and watch the video. But in this case, we have a little more complicated example where we have discount at 1% and rebates at 3%. So how do you calculate selling price? The problem we are facing in this case is that both discounts and rebates are calculated on the selling price and not the cost, which means you will end up into a circular reference error when you try to calculate this. Currently, we don't know what selling price to set so that we have a total target margin, gross profit margin of 15%, but we also have discount at 1% and rebates at 3%. A quick and effective way of dealing with such situations is using the Excel solver add-in. Most versions of Excel already have this add-in available, but it's not enabled, it's not activated. Where you can check to see if your solver add-in is activated or enabled is you click on your data tab, and then here you see the solver add-in already installed. But if you don't see it, don't worry because you can easily activate it by clicking on File, Options, then clicking on Add-ins, and here at the bottom where you manage your add-ins, you click Go, and you see currently for me this one is enabled, but for you, if you don't find it, it's probably not enabled, so you have to click on this check mark to enable the solver add-in, and then you click OK, and your solver add-in will be available. So let's solve this problem and start calculation. One important thing for this calculation is the setup of your calculation here and the most important factors are your gross profit margin, discount percent and rebate percent calculation. Let's quickly look at the formula so that we don't have any confusions there. So the formula for gross profit margin is your gross profit divided by your net selling price. More on gross versus net selling price later. The formula for discount percent is your discount amount which is currently unknown because we don't know the selling price. We have not the selling, set the selling price yet. So discount is also not calculated yet. But anyway, the formula is discount divided by your final selling price. And similarly, rebate percentage is your rebate divided by your final selling price. Now, this calculation is very important. You need to set up this calculation with these formulas already, as you will see, well, when we will use the solver add-in, this calculation will determine what would be the amount for discount, the sales commission, and finally, the final target selling price. The way the solver add-in works is that you have to enter the parameters, and the first one is your objective, so you begin with the end in mind. What is our objective in this example? Our objective is simply to set a price that gives us a target margin of 15%. And just if you don't know how gross profit is calculated, gross profit is your net selling price minus your cost. And the calculation for net selling price is net selling price is your gross selling price or total price minus discounts and sales commission. Okay. So what we are looking for, our objective is to get to a gross profit that provides us a gross profit margin of 15%, which is calculated by dividing gross profit with net selling price. For the first parameter, the objective would be having this cell, so you will select the cell, to value 15%. Of course, there's, there are other options from max and min which could be applied in other cases, but in this case, we want exactly 15% target margin. And third parameter would be the cells that we need to change. So if you look at this calculation, what we need is selling price, discount and sales commission. We want this to be calculated by this add-in so that it solves our problem of arriving at 15% margin. So after you have selected it, you still have to add the constraints, which are a discount of 1% and rebates of 3%. So you can add those con constraints by adding, by clicking the add button. And now in this one, that's why these calculations are important, right? So in this case, we are first looking at discount we want this cell, which was the discount percentage, to equal, so you will click on equal, 
and then our constraint you can either manually type it or in this case we can also link it to a cell which is the one percent in this case and then you click ok and you see the first constraint in uh, constraint is added now you can add uh, multiple constraints let's add the second one which is the rebate percentage so in a similar way you can add you will select the cell reference is this time it will be the rebate percentage calculation and it needs to be equal to our rebate percentage you click OK now the solver add-in is ready to calculate so you click on solve and you see that some values are automatically added so you automatically have a selling price now discount and sales commission and what's nice is that you have formulas here which, which show you that your calculation actually worked your gross profit margin is 15% discount is 1% and rebate percentage is 3% so you click OK and Excel will accept the calculations and you know the price now for t-shirts would be $18.38 if you need a final cross profit margin of 15% and you also consider discount of 1% and rebate of 3% now you can apply this to both the other products so I will quickly do that for you so I've completed the calculation as you can see the proof is here your gross profit margin is 15% for each of the products and similarly discount and rebates are 1 and 3% as originally intended as I mentioned earlier, if you haven't watched the video related to the calculation of markup and margin and how to convert between markup and margin, make sure you watch the video linked in the description below. And if you also want to learn the difference between gross profit, gross profit margin and net profit, I have another video. I will leave a link to that video in the description as well. Make sure you watch that video as well. And if you haven't subscribed until now, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit thumbs up if you found this information valuable. The last thing you would want to check before you send the file is make sure that the, the file is set up for printing. Sometimes when you email the files as attachment, your recipient might just be printing the file as it is. And if they go to the printer, they may see that the file is cut off. They may, they may see that the table is cut off, which is a little slight inconvenience. So you try to do the best. So click on print preview, go to page setup, set it up as landscape if that is what you want to do fit it to one page wide and one page tall click on ok and now it looks in a good shape to be sent and you are ready to send the file leave a comment if it helped you or you needed to learn something else or you are facing a different challenge thank you and bye for now